The Shudarsan Chakra Corps of the Indian Army carried out a display of devastating firepower and maneuvers by potent long-range weapons that was witnessed by Commanding-in-Chief of the Northern Command. The DRDO is fabricating five naval anti-ship missile medium range for various developmental tests. The Royal Navy has conducted successful takeoff and landing of the new Mojave short takeoff and landing UAV from its HMS Prince of Wales aircraft carrier during a trial off the east coast of the United States. Indian Navy's INS Corps made a two-day port call at Sri Lanka's Colombo port for an operational turnaround. The Indian government is contemplating the deployment of central intelligence officials along the China frontier to provide timely alerts regarding potential transgression attempts by Chinese forces. India Ports Global Limited is all set to sign an agreement with the Iranian Port Authority to start full-fledged operation at the Chabahar port. Despite Russia's outreach to invite India and UAE for the joint development of Su-57, latest media reports indicate that India will maintain its distance from the project due to several factors, that includes concerns over the aircraft performance, particularly in terms of engine technology radar and electronic warfare capabilities, as well as past disagreements over technology transfer and cost sharing with Russia over the FGFA program, due to which India is reluctant to engage in another similar endeavor with Russia. The DRDO has confirmed that the upcoming twin-engine deck-based fighter will forego the traditional internal 30mm cannon seen in fighter jets, and will opt for a podded 30mm cannon attached to the center lines between the weapons bays, a design choice that aligns with modern air combat trends. This configuration will enhance Ted BF's versatility, making it well suited for engaging ground or sea-based targets. Godrej Aerospace will start delivery of first set of modules for the dry cavalry engine from March 2024, and the first engine will be assembled by mid-2024. The Godrej delivered dry cavalry engine will be used to conduct rigorous testing, and all tests will be completed by 2025. The DRDO is developing a new afterburner module capable of generating a thrust of 75 kN, that will facilitate developmental trials on board a Tejas aircraft by 2028, which will be followed by Cavalry 2 engine generating a thrust of 95 kN for Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets. A team of approximately 65 foreign service attaches stationed in Delhi visited the defense industrial base located in Pune, during which they received a detailed briefing regarding the sophisticated artillery gun systems developed by Bharat Forge, that includes the Garuda V2 plus 105mm gun, MAG multi-terrain artillery gun, ATAGS and Bharat 52. This visit served as a significant opportunity to promote advanced capabilities of Indian artillery systems to foreign service attaches. India's Saza Electronics Private Limited has signed a memorandum of understanding with the Russian firm Transport of the Future, for the co-development and co-production of advanced Russian unmanned aerial systems from March 2024, that will be utilized for the delivery of goods to remote and mountainous regions. The Philippines is considering a proposal from India to acquire seven Druf advanced light helicopters for its Coast Guard. A top Philippines military analyst has said that India's offer is particularly attractive due to its affordability and the advanced capabilities of the platform, and that India's growing catalogue of defence products makes it a compelling partner for the Philippines. Today's top three comments. Oh, my God.